follow me then this video may come as a little bit of a surprise to you because today I want to introduce you to my three new mice. Now as you know back in September I did unfortunately lose my male mouse fig and I always knew that after him I did want to own female mice but I just wasn't expecting to lose him so suddenly and so soon so I did have his cage on the side and every time I came in here and looked at his cage it was really odd to see it empty so in my head I kind of thought I have the cage, I have all the mouse supplies that I need. If I can offer a home to some mice that need it, then I'd really like to do that. So I did start looking into rescues and rehoming centers or anyone near me that was looking to rehome some mice, but unfortunately there wasn't anyone local to me that needed to give their mice a new home. I did look on local selling sites such as Gumtree for anyone that was rehoming their mice and I reached out to a couple of them, a lot of them just never replied. One person did reply and said that they were rehoming a lot of mice they wouldn't send me any photos of any of the mice they had available or give me any more information about them which I found super sketchy so I really didn't feel comfortable travelling all that way not really knowing what I was turning up to and it was about a two hour drive so I really didn't feel comfortable with driving all that way not knowing what was at the other end so I didn't go with that woman. <laughs> Which is another thing, I still can't drive so I have to rely on someone in my family to drive me. Shout out to you dad, but I still feel really bad asking anyone to drive me anywhere over two hours because it is a long journey, especially when I'm not the one driving, so most mice were over two hours away that needed homes, so I really didn't feel like I could travel to get those ones. I was talking to one girl that had rescued a bunch of mice, she was about two and a half hours away, so kind of pushing it a little bit. Um, and she had a lot of mice and I asked her to send me any pictures or videos she had of the mice just to get an idea of what they were like. And the videos she sent me you could really hear that they were having a hard time breathing. I think they had some sort of like chronic respiratory infection um, which usually I wouldn't have too much of a problem dealing with. But having just lost Fig I really didn't feel comfortable with potentially losing another animal so soon and then also bringing that into my house. So, so I sent the videos of these mice to a breeder that I follow on Instagram and said what's your opinion on these mice, do you think they're really sick? And she said, yeah, unfortunately they look really chronically sick, they have some sort of chronic respiratory infection, and advised me that maybe it wasn't the best thing for me at this stage to bring those mice into my home. So I did ask the girl, I said, do they have a respiratory infection? And she stopped replying at this point, so I wasn't able to get those mice. So the breeder that I was talking to, we've actually become quite good friends, and we got talking and she showed me some of the baby mice that she had available. So as much as I would have liked to have given a really good home to mice that really needed it, unfortunately this time it didn't work out, but the next best thing if you can't rescue or rehome any animals is to go to a reputable breeder, so that's what I did. So my three mice are from Burford Mousery and she's about an hour and a half drive from here in the West Midlands, but we made a day trip out of it and I get along really well with her and it was a really good experience. And I'm going to stop rambling now and show you my three girls. What the hell, my Siri just like went off. Experience is the knowledge or mastery of an event or subject gained through involvement in or exposure to it. Want to hear more? No. Siri, stop. So this is the first girl that I have to show you and this is Pebble. She's a black and white pied mouse and I was actually looking for a black and white mouse. I knew that I wanted one because she has the most unique facial markings and she's the oldest and also the kind of alpha out of all three of them but she's also the most timid and I'm gonna have to work with her a little bit more than the other two, but she is such a sweetheart and she's so cute. She's just a little bit more shy than the other two, but I am obsessed with her face markings because they're so cute. Hi. This is your big debut on the internet. What do you think? Is it scary? Hmm? It's okay. It's not that bad. So this is the second girl that I picked and her name is Opal. She's a splashed mouse, which basically just means the markings on her back. And I picked her because she has the prettiest little face and she's such a sweet girl. She's kind of the middle in the ranking, so she gets along really well with both of the other mice. And she's also just a joy to have around. She's really easy to handle. She's really sweet and she's also really curious when you come in the room. And she's just so cute. 
So with the first two mice, I asked Jo to send me pictures of the mice she had available and I reserved both Pebble and Opal before I went to see them but I did have in my mind that I wanted a third mouse because mice do a lot better in groups than in pairs so I did have in the back of my head that when I went there I would have a look at what other mice she had available and then I'd maybe pick one out of them and that is what I did. So when I got there Jo was showing me literally every single mouse that she has and showing me all the litters and I got to hold a lot of like really tiny baby ones as well and she handed me over this one mouse that was super super fluffy and as soon as she handed me to her she just started like washing herself and bruxing in my hand and she just was really still in my hand so I gave Jo this look that was kind of like I really want this mouse and so she was kind enough to let me have her I think she may have been planning on keeping her back for her own line because she is a Texel which is a line that she's working on at the moment so I think she was thinking about keeping her back for herself but she let me have her and I'm so happy because she's literally the nicest mouse I've ever met. So this is Pearl and she is the youngest and the smallest out of all three of my mice but she's also the bravest, she is not phased by anything, she's such a sweetheart and she's also the fluffiest and the softest thing that I've ever felt in my life. So even though her name is Pearl I do catch myself calling her Little Sheep because she looks like a miniature sheep but something else that's also funny is when she poops or when the other mice poop she kind of gets a bit of a dingleberry where the poo like sticks to her curly fur so that also makes her very sheep like because that happens to sheep a lot too. <laughs> but naturally because she's not really scared of anything I've been spending a lot more time with her and holding her and she's just so soft I wish you guys could feel her. So I have a bunch of random clips of me introducing them into the new cage, a couple of clips of the cage because it is Halloween themed at the moment and then a couple other just bonus really cute clips of the mice, I'm gonna insert those now. So that is it for today's video guys, I really hope you enjoyed meeting my three new mice. If you have any other video suggestions or videos you'd like to see with them in the future, please feel free to leave that in the comment section below. And of course don't forget to subscribe to see future animal related videos from us, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye! Say bye Pearl!